As weird as this might sound, entertainment agencies usually teach and train K-pop idols to have proper manners and act with a certain image before they make their debut. This way, they will create a positive perception of them in the public's eyes. This is commonly known as the idol image. This is in addition to having exceptional skills and attractive appearances. But recently, there have been idols who allegedly lost their image and morphed into completely different people, which frightens and deeply disappoints a lot of fans online. As a result of their unruly behavior, fans began to drop them or worse, cancel them mainly because they no longer satisfy the image they want for them. If you want to know if your faves are included in the list, make sure to keep watching. Okay, cool, let's get started. At number one, we have Jackson Wang. Jackson Wang spent most of his time in China after leaving GOT7. He was also promoted a lot in the country. And let's just say he was very successful in his endeavors there. But recently, the male idol found himself at the center of a debate over his present persona, which is reported to be completely different from what it was in the past. If you were a fan of Jackson during his time with GOT7, you will notice that he used to have this goofy and smiley image. If you look at him now, you can immediately tell he dropped that image a long time ago and is projecting himself as a sexy, nonchalant yet fantastic idol which is totally fine. But there are fans who are not very keen about the shift in image. Things escalated pretty quickly during his 2022 to 2023 Magic Man World Tour. During the tour, there have been numerous videos posted on social media showing him performing a number of intriguing acts. The male singer was observed to have sexy choreography which can be inappropriate for teenage fans who attended the concert. Not to mention other bizarre behaviors like consuming and dousing himself in wine during the show. But wait, there's more because netizens also slammed the idol for his peculiar approach for fan service. More specifically, Jackson frequently welcomed his fangirls on stage and engaged in close physical contact with them such as kissing and hugging them. It's also important to note that he even invited a fan on stage, gave her a lap dance and displayed defensive maneuvers in front of her. Jackson was deemed to be overly frantic to the extent that he didn't think twice about taking his shirt off as he drew nearer to his audience and allowed them to touch his bare chest, giving the appearance that the event was taking place in a genuine club. Everyone is less speechless after watching these films since they are so startled by Jackson's transformation into what he is now claiming that he is no different from a weirdo. Even his own fans have admitted that they feel rather uneasy and confused about the current situation. Some have even expressed sorrow over his gentlemanly elite persona as a member of GOT7 and even joked that they should probably cleanse their eyes after watching Jackson's recent videos. While the buzz surrounding Jackson's new image continues, there are a lot of fans who defend the idol. Most of them mention how Jackson decided to break free from the image. JYP Entertainment might have forced on him in order to debut. And since he is already free from their grasp, Jackson is simply embracing his true self, and there is nothing wrong with that. At number 2, Jenny Kim. It's no surprise that Blackpink's Jenny is making headlines since she was the talk of the town even before her debut. Being one of the most popular YG trainees before, K-pop fans were surely excited when she finally made her debut and ever since, she has been able to build a strong fandom because of her swag and chic image. However, fans are starting to see the cracks on the surface of Jenny's image, and it didn't take that long before they started to accuse the idol of ruining her image and ultimately her career. This is not the first time Jenny had been dragged into a scandal regarding her image. In fact, there had been a lot of debate about her personality and stage presence during their performances. A lot of Ninesons actually pointed out how the debut Jenny is more energetic and engaging while the recent Jenny lacks both energy and stage presence. But Jenny is as famous as she is scandalous and more chances were nitpicked by Kanets. It can be said that 2022 is the year in which Jenny has been under fire for too many things. One of them is her overexposed style which Kanets deemed too sexy for their standards. At the beginning of the year, she generated attention when she wore an under boob top during Paris Fashion Week 2022. This was followed by an incident with an overexposed outfit for Blackpink's Pink Venom teaser. And most recently, she was criticized for her revealing and provocative costume 
costumes during their Born Pink tour. But this is only the tip of the iceberg because everything doubled after she made her acting debut in HBO's The Idol in which she played Diane. While Idol's making a shift into acting is no big deal, netizens were more intrigued by the character Jenny took on, especially since the scenes she was involved in might be too sexy for Korean standards. While Kenneth was quick to roast Jenny for allegedly ruining her image because of the show, Blinks were there to rescue and take over social media as they expressed their support for Jenny. One friend wrote, I'm gonna say this and I don't care if you will gonna attack me or whatever. The series is not as disgusting as the media claimed it to be so far. They lied and it caused more hate towards Jenny. While another said the scenes are not even as scandalous as it seems saying the Jenny clip not even being remotely provocative and K-pop stands are losing their minds. How old are you lot cause she is literally just dancing. At number 3, Jeon Selmi. Selmi Survival used to be one of the most anticipated trainees. In fact, everyone was rooting for her when she first joined Survival shows in order to make her debut. Her fan base doubled, even tripled when she successfully became part of the group IOI. However, things fell apart when the group disbanded and Selmi decided to debut as a soloist. When she first announced her plans, Kanats were debating and saying that changing agency she would eventually sign. And to their surprise, the idol decided to join Black Label and this is where things started to go wrong for her. Don't get me wrong, there was nothing problematic about her joining the agency. However, her fans believe that she should look for a company that suits her image very well. You see, Black Label is more similar to YG. In fact, Black Label is headed by one of YG's top producers, Teddy, who is charged with making music for groups like Blackpink. And Sylvie's fans pointed out that her image and the label's image do match because Sylvie is usually bubbly and cute during her time with IOI, which is why when she decided to continue with her plan and move to Black label, not everyone liked it. In fact, her debut was not as successful as most critics expected it to be since she already had a strong fan base before she went solo. At best, a lot of fans thought it was a flop and blamed her choice of label for the underwhelming result. Negative comments such as Silver Solo a flop, right? I thought she would be super successful but not only did Zero Luck follow her, she ruined her own success. And seriously, what is she thinking? Not joining IOI again? She should be throwing a fit at her ages to get back in there. She's not as popular as Chul Ha. Couldn't even get one nomination for number one on music shows. Why isn't she going back to IOI? Flooded Korean blogs after she released her song. But Sylvie didn't let these bad words weigh her down and continued improving even after haters tried to ruin her career because she decided to embrace her true image. As a result, she backed her first music show win as a soloist in 2020 for her song What Are You Waiting For and another win for her comeback song Dum Dum the following year. Her first music show win created a buzz as well, but not for negativity, it was actually because she accidentally broke her trophy during the encore. But thankfully, fans pointed out that she was able to get a replacement a year later and they're surely hoping she won't break her next trophy in the future. Idols have to carry their image in order to please their fans and it's no secret that most of these idols had to hide their true selves just to protect the image the company gave them. But there's nothing wrong with embracing their true identity and cross fingers that fans will learn to accept them when the time comes. That's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more K-pop stories.